So today I'm going to do a video about fuel injectors for the Honda S2000 and just give you a quick overview of what I've used and the reasons for changing. Right, so firstly I started with the Deutsche Works 600cc injectors. This is for my uh, HKS supercharged build. build. Um, the 600cc injectors, uh, the idle wasn't too bad, reasonably smooth. Um, you could sort of idle at about uh, 1000 RPM without any issues. Um, not ideal, I'd want it to idle a bit less, but I could put up with that. Uh, main issue was that they couldn't flow enough fuel for what I needed. Um, so because I was reasonably impressed with the Deutsche Works injectors at the time, I thought I'd change to the 800cc. So about 10 months ago, I fitted the 800ccs and uh, tuned the car with them. Right, so in this box we've got standard Honda injectors that come with the car and the Deutsche Works 600ccs that I removed and when I fitted the 800ccs. So you've got your Deutsche Works injector there with double O-ring at the back which does make it quite difficult to fit. You've got um, new seals here that they provide and then you've got your spray pattern there with the four holes. Um, basically this is a Denso injector that's been modified um, to fit or modified to flow more fuel. I don't know if you can see there the markings have been removed on the injector itself. Like I said, the 600cc worked quite well for me. Uh, the main downside was it was at pretty much 90% duty cycle to keep the air fuel ratios to the level I wanted. So I decided rather than strain the injector, I would change it for 800cc. There's just a quick overview of the standard Honda S2000 injector. Um, this flows, I believe, 350 cc's. I might be wrong, it might be slightly more than that. But that, they work perfectly in the car for over 10 years. Now, the problem with the 800 cc injectors. Now, these Denso cores were probably fine when they flowed their static, normal pressure. Um, so, the manual says that the minimum pulse width is 1.3 milliseconds. Uh, that's probably fine when you're only spraying 400 cc's, but as soon as you start going up to 600 or 800 cc's, then that pulse width is going to mean that at idle you're going to be running extremely rich. The problems I ran into was that um, at idle, any lower than 1.7 milliseconds injector pulse at idle the injector would start breaking up and the car would struggle to run properly. Incredibly frustrating because it meant I had to get it to idle about 1150 RPM just to get anywhere near 14 for air fuel ratio and the car always stunk of fuel. So 600 cc's I could put up with, probably for NA, NA use would be perfect. But the 800 cc's were no good. So currently I've got the 800 cc's fitted and the car's all mapped to them and after doing a bit of research and contacting Deutsche Works about the injectors I've become quite frustrated for a couple of reasons. The main one being that the card they supplied with the injectors with battery offsets and other measurements uh, it provided inaccurate data. Um, when I looked at their website there was conflicting information. So I contacted them uh, via email and they then told me that basically the information they previously gave out was wrong. I mean this is pretty basic stuff. They, they should know what's in their own injectors or how they're set up. I then decided I'll have a look at their 1000cc injectors um, because apparently they're, bo they're based on a Bosch EV14 injector rather than a Denso one. And Bosch has got generally pretty good reputation for modified injectors. Oh, it's a good starting point for modified injectors uh, but I thought I'll contact Deutsche Works first just to make sure that their 1000cc application for the S2000 is a Bosch which is what it says on their website um, no it's not it's a Denso which has been modified to 1000cc so for me the idle issue would only get even worse with those I've done some uh, reading up on the internet from uh, 
the S2KI forum and thanks to some of the help from the, my American friends and UK friends as well. They basically suggested that I go with the ID1000s. I watched a few videos on the ID1000s and how injector dynamics um, choose their injectors and the procedures they go through and they seem a lot more honest than most of the injector companies and a bit more open to explain their procedures and quality control. Uh, there probably is equally good injectors about but people don't really seem to be talking about what they do. I know they don't want to give away trade secrets but if I'm buying a product I want as much information as possible and uh, injector dynamics provide that information so I've ordered a set of the 1000 cc's which I'll be fitting and uh, I'll do a video about that. Once they get swapped out hopefully everything will be perfect. Hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you click the like button and subscribe. Thanks.